All right, folks, so uh, we're out here with good news. Good news, you can have salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, but you've got to repent. You have got to repent. You think security is tight at the uh, Tri-Cities Pride? Uh, wait till you see the security uh, at the wall at the Kingdom of God. Wait until you see the security. Jimbo, get a, get a, let's do a 360 and get a shot. All right, uh, I will take get a shot of her. I will take a question uh, from her. We are loving. Do you know how much we have put up with today? I, but God is God is really testing the level of my love out here today. I'm not sure how much more loving we could be. We've driven long distances. Uh, we have been hassled by so much security and all. I don't understand what's going on out here. Uh, we love you. Do you know, it's very loving to warn someone. If you had a relative that was a heroin addict, would it be more loving to just hug them and say, hey, you're fine just the way you are? Or would it be more loving to warn them? Your heroin addiction is going to destroy your health and your finances and your life. Oh, no. No. Thank you. I do not compare. I do not compare homosexuality to a heroin user because God never destroyed two cities over heroin use, but he did destroy two cities called Sodom and Gomorrah over homosexuality. So thank you. I do not put homosexuality and heroin abuse on a comparable level. Uh, homosexuality is far, far worse. God uh, does say to be sober-minded, so that is the warning to the drug abuser, uh, but uh, he destroyed cities with fire and brimstone over the sin of sodomy. So who's ready? So we're out here in love. The uh, what? Four, the four most loving people out here in Tri City Pride today uh, are here to to love you, to warn you before you face God's judgment. You guys can't handle some judgment from four middle-aged guys on a sidewalk. Wait until you kneel before the Lord Jesus Christ and have to give an account for it all. I think deep down aside, you, you want to be over here. Uh, I, I wish yeah, I could really so like we could talk to you in person. We you wish you could, we could so that we could talk to you in person. But, uh, but basically, uh, the Gestapo is, is here keeping us from having one-on-one -on -one conversations with you. Maybe they know how violent, maybe they know how violent the homosexual community is. I would love to be over there. We've tried, we've done everything in our power to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with you people face-to-face. -face. Uh, but it's your own organization. It's your own, why, why are we surrounded? Uh, why are we surrounded, uh, you know, by uh, by the, the squad here, by the SWAT team? Uh, because of your your organization doesn't want us in there. They don't want you to know the truth. Not real they don't want you to know the truth. It's loving. Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? That's why your organization doesn't want us in there. Heaven forbid you should use your free will to say, what are we doing to one another? You know, I forgot. Uh, where's my... Let's, uh, while we have... Uh, before, uh, before we end up being told we're not allowed to be in this county uh, without some type of special... We're going to talk a little bit just about the medical dangers of this lifestyle. We're going to take a step back. One of the other gentlemen will talk about uh, get back to the Bible. Sure. I'm going to take a step back from the Bible for just a second. Uh, I think God will give me permission uh, because we just want to talk to you about the medical issues here. Just the medical status of this lifestyle you're living in. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, this thing you call loving, a loving relationship between two men. Now, we're going to talk a little about the medical status of rectal sex. Now, surveys indicate that about 90% of gays have engaged in rectal intercourse, and about two-thirds do it regularly. In a six-month-long study of sexual diaries, gays averaged 110 sex partners and 68 rectal encounters a year. Now, rectal sex is dangerous. Rec See, this is loving. This is loving. Rectal sex is dangerous. During rectal intercourse, the rectum becomes a mixing bowl for saliva and its germs as an artificial lubricant. Uh, the recipient's own feces, 
uh, whatever germs or infections and substances the penis has on it and the seminal fluid of the inserter. Now sperm, which is immunocompromising, readily penetrate the rectal lining, which is only one cell thick. And tearing or bruising of the anal wall is very common during anile or penile sex. Because of this, these substances gain almost direct access. Turn this off. Let me know. Let me know if enough to actually inform you what true love is all about. See what's going on out here on the sidewalk, which we are being uh, forced farther and farther from you, uh, is love. This, this singing you into hell is hatred. See, this is, this is what happened in Simon Gomorrah. I think God's a great mathematician. God being the great mathematician, uh, God being a great mathematician saw that statistically the, uh, the chances of anyone having any type of godly upbringing had basically reached zero in Sodom. So the most loving thing he could do is wipe them all out bring the kids and babies up to heaven and clean a house of all the other wickedness. How do you measure? It's not natural. But there's good news for the homosexual. You can give up your confusion. You can give up your perversion and turn to Jesus Christ and be saved. You don't even need to know that, uh, you don't even need a Bible to know that the anus is an exit. If you don't know the difference between an entrance and an exit, you don't need a license. You don't need to be behind a wheel. Now that's how it should be, a boy and a girl. That's how it should be. What? How come you lesbians claim you're attracted to girls and then you try to look like boys? That's confusion. That's confusion. Now, some of you out here may not be homosexual. Some of you out here may be wondering. You're teetering, you're on the fence, you're not sure if you're homosexual or not. I can help you decide. I can help inform you. If you wear adult diapers, you might be a homosexual. If you claim you're attracted to men, but your boyfriend wears a wig, makeup, and a dress, you might be a homosexual. If the Red Cross will not accept your blood donation, you might be a homosexual. <laughs> if none of your friends seem to make it out of their 40s, you might be a homosexual. If your penis smells like a turd, you might be a homosexual. <clears throat> if you wear a sports bra, but you're not very sporty, you might be a homosexual. If you tell, demand that people accept you as you are, and then you chop off your penis, you might be a homosexual. If you demand people accept you as you are, and you chop off your breast, you might be a homosexual. If you demand people accept you as you are, and you alter yourself with hormones, you might be a homosexual. Now, if you talk about tolerance and love, but you drive across the nation to sue a baker that won't make a homo cake, you might be a homosexual. <laughs> Let's see, what, what am I leaving out here? What am I leaving out? <clears throat> if you cannot use a urinal, if you cannot use a urinal, but you demand to be in the boys' room, you might be a homosexual. I'm going to clear up some gender confusion. Do we have some people that don't know if they're boys or girls out there? Some people out there that aren't sure if they're a boy or a girl. I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you some therapy today. Some free therapy. Absolutely free. Come on, gather around, text your friends some free therapy uh, for the gender confused. If get, get, your, get your pencils and paper out. Take notes. Get ready for this. If you, if you have a Y, 
you are a guy. If you have a Y chromosome, I'm a you're Jesus a male. Uh, you're a male. <laughs> There's no I'm such a, thing. We, you must be uh, trans emotional. You're really happy that we're here and we can't judge by your outward display. You must be trans emotional. There, there you go. Come out here is trans emotional. You look angry, but you really love it that we're here. <clears throat> now, I happen to know for a fact that uh, these women do not believe you men that claim to be women, and the lesbians are my evidence. The lesbians are my proof. Lesbians say they're attracted to women, correct? Lesbians say they're attracted to women. Now, if these men... These men that claim to be women, if you really believed they were really women, then we would find lesbians with the man claiming to be a woman. But that doesn't happen because you lesbians don't believe it. You don't buy it. Yes, we know. <coughs> you know better. Wicked, wicked, wicked. If you think God destroyed Sodom and, and Gomorrah for being unfriendly, Jimbo. you might be a, a homosexual. That, comes that train if you think Naomi by. had sex with her mother-in-law, you might be a homosexual. Hey, there's good news here. I'm coming out of the closet. I'm coming out of the closet. I'm in love with a man, and his name is Jesus Christ, and his blood is not HIV positive. Hey, be more tolerant. Be more tolerant and open-minded. Be more tolerant. Why can't you homos accept me as I am? God made me this way. I was born again this way. <clears throat> and you're headed to hell. You're headed for hell. Let that rainbow remind you of the judgment of God. In the days of Noah, he wiped out the whole globe. The whole globe... God was so loving, he wiped out the whole wicked globe in the days of Noah. God is so loving, he will cast the wicked into hell. So loving, he will cast the wicked into hell. Does he hate me? Does he hate you? Uh, he's going to cast you into hell. You can you can uh, call that love if you like. He is a non-judgmental God. What is going on? Your question. What is your question? What's your question? Don't let the pride Nazi keep you from us. Many old people out here. No. Not very many old people. Because they don't. Homosexuals don't have a very high life expectancy. If you guys you may homo around in your thirties or forties, and then you're dying of AIDS. Anybody want to? We don't want you to die of HIV and go to hell. We don't want you to die from suicide and go to hell. We don't want you to die of domestic abuse and go to hell. We don't want you to uh, be depressed. We want you to be set free. We want you to turn to Christ, give up your perversion, and find freedom from your sin, freedom from your perversion. Hey, today's the day, homosexuals. Get right today. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. He can change your heart. Cleanse your soul, make you born again, a new creature, set you free. Yeah. Who's ready? Yeah. Did you see that love?